Now, Maybe, what, I, what I remember about you, though, is you always had this, I don't want to say swagger, but you always were confident. You always seemed really confident. And in poker? No, or in life. In life. <laughs> in, in life. You felt, I felt like Ken just is exudes this confidence. Now, what I want to know, is it something that you always had? Like, if we rewind the clock back to grade school and high school, you were a confident kid? No. You weren't. No, I mean, I think I had to. I, I, well, I don't. I don't. I, I don't know if I'm. I don't see myself as super confident now. Really. Um, but I do. I guess there is a certain part of, you know, uh, being in this town where you have to pretend to be confident in order to survive. Don't let them see your weakness. You know what I mean. And yeah. so uh, maybe there is a little bit of a, a confident persona or maybe maybe it is part of who i am um but i i like to uh i, I think the best way to uh, professionally get jobs is i mean the only way is to be confident right i mean when you go right. on audition for something as soon as you start second guessing yourself the audition is dead or the interview is dead or the meeting is dead so i i turned a corner on that when well, I was confident when I was in the state, in a, when we were doing the state on MTV out of college, because I was with all my buddies, and we all... Um, you all helped each other out. We all helped each other out, and it was a safe place. So I, I was around that. And then I came out here and was introduced to this town in a in a not as friendly way. I, I replaced somebody on a TV show and I worked with some people and um, it was not a pleasant experience and I lost my identity. And You I lost your identity. I That's lost, a strong phrase. I lost who I was or how I could uh, uh, survive in certain situations professionally. And I, and I couldn't figure out how to navigate the uh, work environment. And I suffered because of it. It was it was bad. And then when that ended, oh no! In the I, middle I, yeah, of that, in the middle of that show, I got my, for lack of a better word, you know, phrase. I got my balls back, and I, I wanted to say something about balls, and it was something I saw on TikTok where people like, somebody was like, talking about balls and like women or women women. They're, everybody talks about like calling somebody a vagina or a pussy, and they're like, that's a sign of weakness. Whereas, like, a vagina and a pussy are like, uh, so strong and like give life and do, you know, like it couldn't be like <laughs> right. the opposite of the, you know, calling somebody that. And then, balls, when you, when you say people have balls, uh, says, you know, like that they're tough, but if you tap somebody's balls, <laughs> They're the most fragile <laughs> thing. It's so true. It's such a. It's a, you, you touch know, a, a, a part a man, of the testicle. Yeah, you're done. Clearly, men have have come up with those two, you know, d definitions of those two <laughs> ways of using that as slang. Anyway, um, <laughs> that's good. So I got my I got my uh, my my power back. But uh, I, I want to know, like, that's to say something like you lost your balls or your vagina, and then you got it back. Yeah. Now the interesting part to me is how the hell you got it back. Like what. What did you do to get it back? Well, I, uh, I, I, I mean, the truth is, is I got to a point where I couldn't, I couldn't deal with it anymore. I couldn't deal with like the chaos of like trying to figure out how to navigate, uh, without using the tools that I knew I had. And I forgot that I had those tools for a while. And I'm like, oh no, live or die by the tools that you have. Um, and at least then you go down knowing that you were true to yourself. 